not kneel down before his children. It is a taboo. Otherwise, I will start by kneeling down before you. Few days ago, I was happy that peace has been restored to my family. And now, the devil has struck again. It's painful. Please, my son, Mark. No one is happy that your son died accidentally. Baba, please. That's the point I won't accept. It was not accidental, it was intentional. It was deliberate. This, this wizard and his witch of a wife killed my son. Mark. Mark. I did not you deliberately killed my son. Vivian, you did. You did. You killed my son. <laughs> but one thing is for sure, you're going to pay daily. You're going to pay with your life. Mai. Mama. Mas you're fake. Just to prove my innocence to my sister and her husband that I did not kill their son. I am ready to swear by Odunabo. Look, Vivian, swearing by Odonabo will not make a difference. Okay, it will not change anything. You did what you did, okay? I am not here to discuss you swearing by any deity. All I want is my son, all right? That's the only thing that will make a difference. I want my son back. My daughter, please. We understand how you feel, please. What happened has happened. The Udunabo of this community is not just a deity for her to agree to swear before Udunabo. It's just to prove to you that it was not intentional, please. Udunabo, whatever, it's not my business. As far as I'm concerned, Udunabo can be bribed. But may the gods forbid, please. My don't say that about the gods, please. I won't say the gods take bribe. I said it can be bribed. But that's not why I'm here. That is not, Mama, Mama, please stay out of this. So this is it. This is the reason that you reconciled with me to get close to kill my son. Five million naira. Take your, your, your stupid money. Five million naira. So this is it, Francis. You came close to me so that you could kill my son. This is not over yet. It's not over yet. It's okay, Mark. Wait. It will never be okay. It will never be okay. It will never. Francis. Francis. It is not over yet. Mark. It is not over yet. Marky! Marky! Mama, I don't even know what else to do again. I don't know how else to say for them to believe me. I did not kill their child. And there is no way I would have done that. How? How could I have killed their child? Intentionally, how? My daughter, I believe you. Yes, I do. But, but my sister, Destiny, and her husband, they don't believe me. Calm down. Vivian, just calm down. I've told you, stop. Stop worrying yourself, okay? Everybody believes you, okay? You don't have to worry yourself. Vivian, my daughter, please don't get yourself worked up, okay? It's well. With time, they will believe you. Yeah. Will that time ever come? Of course. Of course. It's you. Okay? Jonas, my friend. No, okay. You know, this matter at hand is a very critical one. There's something I want you to do. Mm. Something like what? I would like you to talk to your son, Francis, in private. Ask him some questions. Let him talk to you as a man. Find out what really happened. You know women and their strong heart. It's okay. But are you in any way 
insinuating that my daughter-in-law fell down with the child deliberately. I'm not saying that for sure. But you know women and their thinking. That's why I would like you to talk to your son. Would I know Kenny Day you hear no Napa? Would I know him? You know? I hope all is well. Oh, you be a na boko, on a chuki. How can all be well when my house is on fire? Well, I've told you people not to allow these things to be working you up. Hmm? I've told you before. Hmm? With no time, Mark is going to come back to his senses. It is not easy for me, my son. Not easy. Well, I called you inside here. So we can talk as man to man. And as a father to a son. Tell me the truth. How did the accident happen? I don't understand. How did it happen? Like... Were you not there when it happened? I was there. Now tell me how everything happened. I am your father. For the second time, because I've told you people how everything happened. Yes, for the second time. Well, are you in any way suspecting anything? Well, I trust you, my son. But you know women, they can't be trusted. But for real, I am very disappointed at you. How can you think of such a thing? My son, speak for yourself. Because women are not men. What you think they are is not really what they are. Well, think about what I just told you and give back to me. No more peace and harmony anymore in this family. No more peace and harmony anymore. Mama, Mama, you can see it. Mama, come and talk today. This is the best of work. No more in a world. Mama, you can see it. Mama, I agreed to swear by Odunabu. Just to prove my innocence to my sister and her husband. That I did not intentionally fall down to kill their child. But they have refused to believe me. What else am I going to do? I am tired of talking about the same thing over and over again. So honestly, at this point, whatever thing they want to do, let them just go ahead and do it. Vivian, that is very wonderful of you. But let me warn you, do not run. <laughs> Vivian, don't run. Do not run. That thing you are asking for, when it comes, do not run because we're going to do exactly as you have said. <laughs> do not run, I'm warning you. But, Destiny, you have always known me. I have never been afraid of any human being. Mm. Not to talk of you. Oh, Dogu, well done. No, 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 you've, you've never been afraid. No, it's fine. But your day of reckoning is coming. Your judgment day is already counting. Tick-tock, tick-tock, it's coming for you. Uh, Destiny, listen. 
I call this meeting mainly because of you. I want to ask you one question, just one question. What makes you believe that your own blood sister, your blood sister would intentionally kill your own child? No, what does she stand to gain by that? <laughs> Uncle, please, though, with due respect. With due respect, sir. If you know you've already taken sides with my sister, just say it. No, no, feel free. You can talk to me. Feel free and just open up to me so that I can gently walk out of this meeting and go back to my house. Because I really don't get the essence of this question you're asking me. What kind of a question is that? I'm asking you this kind of question because we do not believe that she intentionally killed your child. It, it was a mere accident. Okay. Uncle, please let me ask you one question. Have you never seen or heard that a father killed his own child for his selfish reasons? Uh, well, I've heard, but I've not seen. Okay. No, that's good enough. Secondly, have you never also seen or heard that a child killed his own father for his selfish reasons? Again, I heard, but I have not seen. Uncle, let me tell you this. I have too many reasons to believe that Vivian here killed my child. No, reasons too numerous to mention. This same Vivian sitting here was never in support of my marriage to Mark. From the word go, she stood against me with everything. Even when I was pregnant, this same Vivian took me to the hospital to have my child aborted, but I ran away. And now you want me to believe that Vivian does not have any intention whatsoever to murder the same child she wanted to kill while he was still in the womb? Uncle, you want me to believe it's a coincidence? No, 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 it's not possible. Vivian killed my child and I know it. Destiny, all these things you're saying, you are right. All these things happened in the past. I have no reason whatsoever to want no, to No, you did. Vivian, you have and you did. You killed my child. There is nothing you can say about it. I mean, how do you even start convincing me that you did not? You, you, you were with me. Sarah. I know I wasn't with you. I wasn't with you, Vivian. Vivian, you are an adult. An adult. How can you explain the fact that a day old baby, as tiny and little as he was, dropped from your hand? How can you explain that you slept with one who pushed you? How is that possible? The baby was too big. Was it too heavy? You couldn't even let my one day old step into his house. You killed him on his first day. First day on earth, Vivian. And you sit there to tell me that you didn't kill my child. And Vivian, what are you saying? Vivian, listen to me. You are nothing but a murderer. No. That's what you are. A baby killer. No. You killed my son. And you know it. You could have done anything to me. But carrying out your anger and your wickedness on my one day old is totally unacceptable. If I were you, I would just ask God for forgiveness. Instead of sitting down to deceive yourself that you didn't kill him. Ask God to forgive you because the blood of my one day old will forever cry out, Vivian. Will forever haunt you. Murderer. Witch. That's what you are. A baby killer. Who does that? <sighs> my daughter, please, it's okay. It is not okay. Mother, it is not okay. No. Don't sit there and tell me it's okay. Because it is not. As long as my child remains dead, it is not okay. I can never be okay. What is okay about it? Mama, you do not understand. Have you lost a child before? Don't tell me. How can you step into my shoes? Has it ever happened to you? You didn't lose any of your children, mother. So you would never understand. Nobody should talk to me. I'm not the one that should be talked to. Talk to the killer of my child. Talk to her to open up and ask God for forgiveness. Instead of lying and deceiving herself that she's not a murderer. Murderer! Killer! You killed a day old! Because of your wickedness! And you think God will not punish you?
trust you. Like. You know what you can do. <laughs> you know me, I don't waste time. Uh, did you call your sister not coming out? Yes, I did. But you can call her again. Yes. Uh, Destiny! Nemo! Destiny! Destiny! The food is ready. Come and join us, eh? Ah, I, I'm not hungry. I don't want to eat. You're not hungry. No, thank you. Destiny. God knows that my conscience is always clear. Whenever I finish cooking in my house, and I will make sure that all my children eat with me. But let me come to talk.
sister to sister. As I went to bed last night, I couldn't even sleep. I remembered those days. Those days that we used to do everything together. We used to cook together. We used to go to the stream, fetch water. We basically did everything together. I miss those days. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. I, I, I did not intentionally kill your child. And there is no way I would have done that. Please forgive me. Destiny, the truth is, the world is so lonely without you. Forgive me, please. I know, I know this has brought you so much pain. But please, Destiny, believe me when I say I did not intentionally kill your child. I couldn't have done it. sister back. I've been lonely. I want you back, please. had to kneel down to beg destiny. Just guess what she did. She got up and hissed and walked away as if nobody was talking to her. Right before your mother and your uncle? No. You know, I had to talk to her alone this morning, so it was just the both of us. I didn't know that Mark is this mean. Even my sister. Let you go ahead and do whatever they like. Even in court, I am ready. But there is nothing else now. They will only take us to court. Whoever that is pushing him should go ahead. I know it's those his friends. Those his friends.
Sorry, excuse me, don't be offended, please. Were you once a student of I mean the high school? Yeah. Yes. Sorry, please, what year did you graduate? Two thousand. Mark on a Mark is this you? Kiss me now, Queen Wabweze. It's you. Queen. Mark. Is this really you? Yes, that it's me. Ah, 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 Look at Queen. You, I wouldn't have recognized you, man. You've added so much weight. Mark, how are you? What's happening now? I'm fine. I'm fine. Life is good. Ah, good to see you again. So, are you married now? Yes, uh, I'm sure you're married too. Of course, I'm married now. That's why I'm like this. Ah, nice, nice. Good ah. to know. Mark, I don't like what I'm seeing. Ah. Truly, I don't like don't it. Don't worry now. I'm a hustler. No, ah. just hold this money first, okay? And type your number here. I'll call you. I'll give you a call, okay? <laughs> Queen, I swear I won't have recognized you. But even you. though you're looking okay, though. Queen, a lot, a lot has happened though. I can imagine. A lot has happened. Don't worry, I, I will call you. I'll all right, give you a call. All right, thank oh, no, you. Do you have your phone with you here? Uh, I think I'm charging it. Somewhere. I'll call you, okay? Oh, yeah. Ah, right, Mark! Right. Ah, Queen! Mark! Uh, uh, if you don't mind, I don't know if I can. It's okay, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Hello, okay, Queen. Trying to get your contact. Uh, not until yesterday when she came back home feeling so excited. So, um, I asked, she said that she bumped into you, you know. I lost contact with all my classmates, and that includes your wife. Me too. Your husband used to be a very good man way back in school. I don't know if he's still a good man. <laughs> of course, I'm still a good man. I mean, why will I change anytime soon? I'm still a good man. Um, my husband is a good man. Um, being good is one of the reasons I married him. Oh. He has a very good heart, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. married to a good man, just like my husband oh. here. Ah, in that case, <laughs> I think we good husband deserve some accolades. <laughs> yes, we, we deserve some accolades for being good men and, and good husbands. husbands. Oh. Their wives. <laughs> ah. yeah. You all deserve accolades. All good husbands deserve good accolades for being good husbands. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Anyways, this is for you, my fellow wife. It's our product. My husband owns the company. Are you serious? You mean you, you, you manufacture this? Yes. Uh -uh. Oh, wow. That's, that's really nice. Oh, my brother, <laughs> I never knew I was sitting with a CEO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by his grace, you know. <laughs> yeah, by his grace. Ah, lovely product you have here. Nice, oh, Thank nice. you very much. Thank you for this, nice. okay? Uh, I'm going to try it. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, El. Let's drink on. Ah! <laughs> Most that. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, Mark. Since when have you started hiding things from me? I'm not hiding anything from you. You're not hiding anything from me, right? So why haven't you been able to tell me what the problem is since I've been asking you? Oh, so that girl was your girlfriend? She was... She was never my girlfriend. She was never your girlfriend. Okay, so what then is the problem? She wants her husband to help me. Please, don't even try to lie to me. She wants her husband to help you, so how is that? That sounds like good news to me, so I don't understand how that will make you and look her like husband, this. Her husband asked me to look for a shop. You and I know how much shops worth is this. 1.5 per annum. Where am I going to get that kind of money from? Her husband wants you to get a shop that would cost you 1.5 million naira. Okay, so how much is he going to give you for this business? Because I don't understand. You want to help someone who doesn't have anything. You're asking the person to go rent a shop worth 1.5 million naira. I mean, where does he expect you to even get that money from? Huh? Now you see exactly where the problem lies. <laughs> Mark, you're grown up now. You're grown up. You should be able to know when somebody's lying to you. This man is clearly lying to you. He doesn't want to help you. <laughs> he 
because I, please, you know what? Just get over this, okay? Get over this. Stop brooding. I beg. Should I help you that? Should I go serve you your food? Should I serve you food? Or you still want to hug? The opportunity I'm giving to you is a way to pay back. You know, I know how difficult it was for me to convince my husband. I don't want this to slip away from you, please. Well, unfortunately, this particular one will sleep for me. I was very happy when your husband offered me 200 million naira worth of goods. Only for him to tell me that I have to get a shop where they sell his product. Get in a shop there's 1.5 million naira, where will I get it from? You know, I will try and convince my husband to do something. Oh, please, please, please. Uh, trust me, if you give me from now to the end of the year, I'm not sure I can raise 1.5 million. I heard Francis Onyegunam is your elder brother. Well, not anymore. Why? Um, there are things better left unsaid. It's okay. All will be well. Amen. Cheer up, please. It's insane. Why not that? Can we move, please? Are you okay? I'm finished. What happened now? I'm finished. Do? God, God, why me? Why me? Mark, please talk to me. What, do you, what happened to you? Mark. Mark. What have I done to deserve Mark, this? What Mark. have I done? Mark, please, in God's name, just tell me. Whatever it is, talk to me. You're getting me worried, though. Your husband. What did my husband do? What happened to you? Your husband, your husband, goodness. Hey God, Mark, 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 please now, what did you do hey! again? What happened? Your husband. Your husband. Your husband. Your husband. What happened to my husband? Your Tell me husband. now. Your husband. Mark, you're scaring me. Right? Your husband is now a millionaire. <laughs> Supplied me goods worth 200 million there without taking a dime from me. <laughs> no, wait. You're a millionaire. No, 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 please. Wait, Mark, 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 Mark. Okay, wait. So, what you're trying to tell me is that you have goods worth 200 million naira. 200 million. Naira. You. 200 okay. million. Naira. Okay, so it means that. I'm a millionaire. I have goods worth 200 million naira. Mark, hold on. This is, this is a joke, right? It's no, one of your jokes. No, it's no because not. I know you. No, it's not. <laughs> Mark, you're joking about this. I'm not. You can't possibly. Do you know what 200 million naira worth of good means? Millionaires. 200 million. Like, We're millionaires. Uh, We're millionaires. Oh my god.
honey. You're back. Yeah, babe, I'm back. How are you? I'm good, are you? I'm great, but you don't look okay. What is it? <laughs> My brother. What about him? Mark is not only going to be rich, but very soon he's going to be the richest in the market. How come? He is the sole distributor of that product in the whole Eastern Zone. This product? Yes. One million cartons of this product does not last one day in his shop. Wow. Thank God for my sister. Did you just say that? Oh yes! Destiny is lucky. She, she's a very lucky girl. Paul, did you call the agency? When did they say our goods are arriving? The containers we arrive tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Were they specific? Did you ask them the time? Mm, around four o'clock. Oh, four is fine. As soon as it arrives, I like my friends to be the ones that will flow them. Okay, I will do that, sir. I'm very serious. I will do that, sir. Okay. What about the business with um, real Nolly? We made seven four million naira. Seventh four million naira is good. <laughs> so um we'll call the account officer, let him know that you're coming to make deposit. Okay? Okay, sir, okay. Sir. Right, real quick, real quick, real quick. Okay, so what about the business with Harry Asoko? How did it go? I don't know about that, sir. How can you not know? You're my manager. Make the call as soon as possible, you understand? Okay, sir, we'll wait. Um remember. My friends should be the ones that will offload that container. Yes, I will do that. Good. Here you go. Seventy-four million naira from Rio Nolly. <laughs> Good business. Panigo, Mark, Panigo, you know what I'm saying? We are no more longer in the same level with you. Have you water? Mark, Panigo, Mbibazu, Aga. Eh? Mark, you know they can't see us again. Eh? The one where they face me pass, Mark, they send that useless manager. Make him come give us this stupid change here. Eh? Make him come give us this nonsense change. God, see eh? If you Mark, I am not ready to serve Mark. I don't ready to serve Mark. Cha 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 cha. I'm going for it. Eh? 
Is it that we borrow all those of loaded Mamezia for Mark again? Nothing gonna make me do that kind of work again for Mark. They will never serve all over my dead body. And why am I serve for Mark? Who is Mark? Obe, what is your problem? No, Meche, help me and ask Obe, what is your problem? Get those You are here now ranting. Makachuku man serve for Mark again. I will not do this one. I will not serve him again. I will not. Obe, if you are the one in this same position, this pin off you are complaining about, you will not give us shishi. Oh boy, you will not give us one naira. And you are here and I complaining. I will never serve Mark again. I will not do that. I will not do that. Nah, it can't be your, can't be your problem now. Nah. No, what is your problem? Eh? As if God broke you now. He gave you one naira. He gave you one naira. He gave you one naira. He gave you one Is anybody holding you? Tolles. Kowali and Kowata. Mark is not only paying us well, but paying us double. Paying us double. Uh -uh. What's the problem? Let me tell you. The problem we Igbos have is greed. Mm, greed. Meche, mm, 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 mm. minus me. You know, Kuntana minus me. Listen, Don't count me. Anyuku. Genti can't call again. Anyuku. If Mark keeps on paying us this amount of money, Oga, when in one year, Gary will take shop in Alaba. What I go? Gary will take big shop in Alaba. Throw down that shop. You say, I'm a co. Who me you have? You go now. Supply no, next three years one then go GLK. Oh boy. Meche. It's not as if I'm asking Mark not to help us. Because the truth of the matter is if Mark decides to help us, okay, so favor me to favor me. But in a situation whereby he refuses to help us, I get here when he's in a Are we going to point gun on his head and collect all his money? No. <laughs> so therefore we should be grateful and come and man. Eh? Tolles, no be me and you and Mark, they suffer for this Obodo. No, Obra and you and Mark, na not na this Obodo. Not Even when his brother said to him, we don't do money. We don't do settlement. Obra and Mark, don't have until Mark meets his destiny here. Get us the other situation to offload and now. And who can work and serve for Mark? Instead of go serve Mark, make the like jam me, make a die. Okay. Make a tap you. The destiny helper. Mark is talking about is a lady he helped during their school days. Let me ask you something. During your school days, who did you help? I helped myself. If you go in Onyanuku, you helped yourself. Yes. And Mark helped another girl. Now the girl don't return the match. You will never know cause scenario. When they now, when you go now. No, ask him. Ask him. See your boy. Nobody is holding you not to work for him. Nobody hold you, say, oh, wait, you must work for Marco. Oh, wait, you must work for him. If you decide not to work for him again, buy ah. You gotta go. And when I'm my guy, my, we're not forcing you. You do know? You do know? You do You better see him on the other one. 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 Not there. Nah, not there. That was what I See, eh? Man, even to the Wagibi say, I no go serve Mark. No serve him. As he don't decide say now offload, he go to offload on one name. Get ready, a minimum offload container. Oh, boy. Akwamua. If you call me tomorrow to come and offload for you, man, but if you can pay me what I work for you. Eh. He will uh, not even pay us well. Tolles. Don't be on my 30 cake. I'm saving up for people. Don't be a good shot. Don't be a good shot. Why you not the one that say you will not work for him again? Yeah, he's giving us. Now nah, leave this peanut for us. Waiting, waiting, be your own now. Hey, leave this peanut for us. You don't see where blind person uh, uh, mismanaged waiting in March for like. Ah, baby, give me my own 30 pack. I'm going to save up one now. Eh? Gini? Gini, I just missed no peanut. Can't you money? I'm going to save up one bag. I know you do a flu. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm going to save up one. Which way they catch money like they catch money like human being in a me I can say about one now. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you have that you. And you're gonna touch one. Now what for which one be I don't know why you're not. No, I should give you a little bit of 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 a little so long as you pay me well, it is a new book. It is a new book, boy. Very greedy man. If you like, bring 80 feet. Before one year, I'm going to invite Nagori to live. I'm going to go to the house. He everything. Hey! It's your book. It is a new book, boy. People are a new book. 
Criminals will kill you. Look at this life. Tell us. Can you imagine? Can you remember? Being at home, I'm not never. If I tell you my story, you will cry for me. Oh, it's a pity. Mommy, I'm not coming. So, on behalf of my family, I mean, my beautiful <laughs> wife here, evergreen, ever blazing, oh. ever gorgeous. Hello. One and only. <laughs> One and only. One and only. After everything, you know, I decided that, um, you know, during this housewarming reception, I decided that my friends and family and I and my wife, that we should have a private party, and that is why we're all here today. Okay. So, um, without wasting much of our time, we have to toast. Hey. <laughs> Wisdom leave. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> so, um, toast to long life, oh, prosperity, mm. and one and only. Oh. One and only. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, so um, mm. uh -huh. hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. So, um, I love you. I love hey. you too. Hey. Oh, boy, but I'm romantic. <laughs> you know, 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 Um, so that's it. Mm -hmm. In this life, it's, it is good to be good. Like the old saying, be good to anyone you meet on your way up. You never can tell who you meet on your way down. True. So, um, the money Francis gave me to give you, I gave it to her. Still here. Why are you crying? Nothing. You said nothing. Okay. Um, um, what are you going to do when you get home now? I don't know. Nothing. Nothing. 
my stepmom says she doesn't have money to pay for my school fees this time. You know she's not my real mom. But didn't you tell her that we've started exam? She knows everything now. She knows everything. I wish my parents are still alive. It's okay. It's okay, Queen. Huh? Death has done a terrible thing in my life. Queen, you know you can't afford to miss her exam this year. Eh? If you do so, you are going to repeat class next year. Well, Mom, what do you want me to do? Um, I will, I will give you the school fees. What? Yes. Where are you going to get the money from? Um, my brother sent me some money to give to my parents. So I will get your school fees from there. No, no, no. What are you going to tell your parents? Ah, don't worry, I will sort it out. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, that's so nice of you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're Thank welcome. You. So you have to start reading now. You know I will be peeping from you. <laughs> <laughs> You're not serious, man. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. Bia, bia, bia. Check out. You mean that girl was the person you gave the money Francis sent to us? I didn't want to mention it, but. <laughs> My son, I am happy for you. This world is a small place. Hey, look at it now. The small thing you did for her in the past has virtually changed your life. Yeah, no. Huh? Look at the hey. Well, not everybody will do what she did. God bless her. 